to be affected if we don't enforce our code. Mm -hmm. Isn't it also true that layered on top of the code and the easement questions, there's going to be some covenant issues to be resolved? Well, that's all I wanted to, I mean, also, because, I mean, here, and Steve's not here. Those aren't the city's. I understand. You know, we don't, en we, don't enforce, we don't enforce the covenants. We approve them. I mean, we check them and then we approve them, just like we did today with that other subdivision. Um, but we don't enforce them. Um, so some of, this, some of this is addressed in those covenants also as far as uh, grading and altering uh, drainage and uh, changing lots. Uh, grading should produce graceful contours, not sharp angles. Um, uh, minimum and, al and alterations to existing drainage systems shall be avoided. Um, uh, retaining walls, it's addressed maximum of four feet in height. This one's close to five on one end. Uh, they, it says they shall be terraced and stepped if in excess of four feet. That didn't happen. Uh, retaining walls in excess may be approved with terracing and stepping built and only if the declarant consents in writing. So, conversation with Steve, he never approved any of this in writing. But, I mean, that's his, that's his choice. Not, that's not something the city deals with. Um, so this retaining wall should have been approved by Steve Schuster. And as far as I heard, it wasn't. Um, but it wasn't disapproved. I don't know if he was even aware of it. Thank I don't you. Know that's, if, my, that's my point. I don't know and if Steve was contacted. Just, like just like Park saying, they're bringing it to us after it's all done. Yeah, yeah I mean, and so... The council's supposed to approve or disapprove. What's yeah, I mean, so there's so many checks in place <laughs> that didn't happen. And there's approvals that should be should be had that didn't happen, um, so we have a mess. Kyle, are those uh, trees at the west end of the retaining wall yours? Yes. When did you put those in? When they did the whole thing. When Ryan was, I think it was. I'm trying to remember if it was before or after the sod. I think it was after the sod. I think he cut it and then drilled them in. So, so it was the same time with everything else. Um, but talking about how our properties mean, I'm sure Scott can admit his sits lower than mine just the way it, the lay of the ground. So when this whole thing got started, uh, Ryan Campbell offered up to grade Scott's yard and so on and so forth. And we were working on an agreement and we were told we couldn't do that. That the city was going to take care of it and we couldn't take care of it. We couldn't handle it. So who told you, who told you that? Uh, Greg Schmidt because we were we were working on an agreement and we were told by Greg Schmidt no matter what me and Scott came up with the city was not going to approve it because of the easement thing yeah I guess we were told we and, we couldn't make an agreement the COVID, I guess, but yeah but as far as the easement thing. Yeah. that's not what this city person would say let's put it that way if you guys could work together, it'd make it a whole lot better if we only have water going in there and we can put drain pipes in there to make the water go away. It would be sure nice if you could both make it look good and not have to move the wall. But right now it appears that the wall is making the water go over to Scott's side and therefore he's going to have more water and he's not in favor of that. Just, 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 I'm just talking here, you know. I'm just, just, I haven't worked on a bunch of guys' life for the last month. <laughs> but so the, the rain base center uh, inlet that we're going to put in yeah. should take care of any water that comes from the west. It should go to that, and then it will be tiled to the existing storm sewer. So there shouldn't be any water. Oh, well, I know, but I mean, it's just... Oh, I would, I would, stop, I would stop short of saying that, though. Well... Because, I mean, yeah, depending on the rain event. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but... That's where uh, Wayne, Wayne and Jerry did their their stuff. That by putting that tile in there and the storm sewer, that in essence compensated for what my wall took away. Now all of my rain gutters are also tiled in, so any rain that comes off my roof goes into a tiled system. So the only rain that you're going to get off of my property is what la what is what lands on the grass. So. And that's why that tile is going to be put in there, as it compensates for that wall being there. It's pretty soggy right now. 
Just to clarify things, the main reason this is in front of the council, yes, it has to do with drainage. However, that has somewhat been taken care of through the two different engineers and working with Jason and, and the parties. The second part of this is that we have a separate code section, which is referenced, 165.23, and that deals, it specifically states the last sentence, no buildings or structures will be permitted on easements without authorization of council. This is a utility and a drainage easement. That is why Jason brought it to the council. <coughs> so I don't know if, is Clark's motion still on the table? No. No, if it is. We made actually a second motion about table, <laughs> as opposed to agenda driven. He suggested to table. There's been no motion to table. Right. No formal motion. Right. So, so we're dealing with the utility part. Is the reason why it's here. Well, it's, I feel. I mean, yeah. They're interrelated. I mean, yeah, they're but, related. but what? Let's just be clear. It's utility driven, but then it's also driven by whether a five foot, six foot wall that's parked in the ground is our structure or not and whether the city should have figured this out before the last few weeks right and all the time I sit here and especially the last few years I just try to make everybody happy and it's damn near impossible on something like this so that's why I was thinking why didn't they, couldn't they work together? And then I hear that the city said they couldn't work together, and it just perturbed me. That's really what we said. Well, and to allow them to work together, I mean, that would be harmonious and great to allow that to happen, Rex, but the wall built is, is a violation of the code. If we allowed it to be built, and we knew it was being built, then we violated it by not stopping it when it was getting built. And Ryan also built it wrong if he built it on the easement and he knew it was an easement. So I got plenty of blame to go around here. I would make a motion at this time to order the retaining wall be removed on 469 20th Street Southeast. And removed by the owner and maintain the utility drainage easement added as is. That's my motion. I'll second that. Right. Motion made and second to allow the retaining wall at 469. No, no. First one. Excuse me. Motion to order the retaining wall located at 469 20th South Street Southeast be removed by the owner from the utility drainage easement and the easement be restored to its original design condition, designated condition. A motion second. Is there, is there a roll call on that? Don't have to, huh? It'd probably be preferred. So let's call the roll. Good roll call. Beth? Matt? No. Good child? Are you there, Good Clark? Good child? Hello. Hey, guys, I got knocked out. Where am I at? <laughs> Say yes or no. Well, you <laughs> <laughs> Yes, removes hey. it. Yes, it. You explain no, them. I cannot guys. hear. Time out. Time out. Time out. I apologize. I got disconnected, so I called back in. Where would? We... Okay. There, there's, there's Mark, this is Mike. There is a motion on the table to order that the retaining wall be removed by the owner from the utility drainage easement and the easement be restored to its original design condition. That motion was seconded. And there's been one vote. Rex voted no. 
Rex vote. Okay, so Rex voted not to have. Uh, not, not to remove okay. it. Not to remove it. Not. Okay. Today. All right. Now, now it's your turn. Oh, um, I would, I would uh, support that motion. I vote yes. Yes. Wick. Yes. Nelson. Yes. Donlan. Yes. So it's three to four to, four to one to remove the wall. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Motion made in order retaining a uh, wall. No, we're, we're done. No, I understand. We're done with this. But. Eight, um, so four to two, four to one. Four to one, but here's there's my caveat. My caveat is maybe he can come back with Ryan and come up with a better plan than just removing it. Okay. He can come back with a better plan. We'll look at that. So. Right now, the council has said he can't have it. But just like anything in government, don't move that fast. So we don't have to have a move this afternoon. True. So if he can come back with a better plan in two weeks, he might get more support. So what would be a better plan? <laughs> Well, better plan is, the, is, is not in the easement or these guys working together or figuring out a way to do it to make it not such a high wall, not such a deep wall, whatever. I don't know what the answer is, Jason. I'm not an architect and I'm sure not a landscaper. And it'd be good just but, as but a practical matter if the covenant issues were also factored in because that's still going to be a, a discussion, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, can I say something? Can I say something? Go ahead. Um, I realize it's not like moving a gas grill, but you can have your flat yard. It's just going to be eight foot shorter. I mean, you you can have your flat yard. It's just eight. But my question to the council and to the city is, why do we have ordinances? I think the most important thing on this piece of paper is the fact that we set a precedent. And if we allow this, I get his reasoning. I've seen it. I know. I totally get his reasoning. I totally agree with Rex now that why didn't the city see it as it was progressing? I don't care if occupancy permits were permitted or not. We're up there every day looking at new construction, different construction. Nobody saw a wall being built. But the point is, he should have been told there was an easement back there. And there probably is another solution. And I know it's not like moving a gas grill six feet, but move your wall six feet or whatever it is. Like, it can be there. It just can't be where it's at. Sorry. Any suggestions, Mike? I'm just, I'm just saying that there is different ways to get Rome built. So. You got some time to make this adjustment because we told you to take it out. And if you come up with a better solution before you take it out, we'll have to look at it. We have to look at it. Because we made this decision. Okay. I'll have to think. Okay. Somebody from the city's got to talk to All I can guys. say is we're going to be in touch with both of you gentlemen, it sounds like. And nice. talk to Steve when Steve gets back and figure out a solution, a better solution. Okay. And then come back. <laughs> Has anybody addressed the covenant issue at all? Has it even been brought up? I, brought, I, th I believe I brought it up to Steve Monday when we met in that meeting. But there was I've two. talked to Ryan and we've settled the covenant thing. We're going to, we'll fix it. We're going to drop it to four, right. four, four foot. In the parts that are over four foot, we're going to stair step it. So it will be five, four foot the whole way across. So that will be taken care of. Is that the only covenant issue, or is there a terracing issue? Well, no, uh, the declarant, so Steve can well, waive, waive the stepping portion of it. Okay. Do you have to be here for this? No, let's move. We'll move on. We'll be in touch. Yeah, let's move on, Mike. You're right. No, but you can see us. I, I have one question. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, so 
my question is then the people that have uh, the brick mailboxes, how can those be allowed then if they're in the utility easement? And that, that's just my personal question. Well, they, I'll answer that. So are you talking in the front of a house? Yeah. Not utility easements. Those are right away. But it's still in the same portion. They're platted as right away, not platted as utility and drainage okay. easements. Even though the utilities run underneath of them? True. Okay. They're, they're city right away. Okay. I mean, and right away can have a number of things in it. Okay. Um, so Did that answer your me, question two, on that? Comment? To me, two different things. Yeah. Two different things. Yeah. All right, we got to move on here. Not, not this okay. Moving on. Uh, the council moving on to uh, the city administrator comments. Uh, no, we have one more agenda item. The what? One more agenda. One more agenda. Oh, I'm sorry. The vacate the right of way, right? That's that easement question. Is that that easement one? No. That's the vacating of right away. Just a minute. Four. Bear with me. Attached is a plan of the vacation of right away. Attached is a, a plan of the city right away uh, to vacate. The right of way was part of the Dogwood First Edition, planning to be a future 20th Street Southeast. Dogwood Second Edition was planted with the alignment of 20th Street Southeast shifted south. With the shift, the city has no need for the right of way. The recommendation by the uh, administration is that the recommendation uh, the council established September 15th. 2020 for a public hearing for disposal of the property and the property should return to the owner of lot six of dogwood edition all right we're in the same area we're in the same area same subdivision it's the same you, you, you sure we want to get <laughs> okay <laughs> now we're talking about this is the start of the water or the, Previous was the start of where the water gets in the pipe. This is down towards where it comes out of the pipe. Um, is everybody anybody have questions on where where it is or why we're doing it? Um, it was when uh, Schuster did Dogwood first. Those are the lots along K49, so four or five lots, whatever that was. Um, it was anticipated of where 20th Street would intersect with K49. So it was platted that way. Uh, when the design for Dogwood 2nd was uh, taking place, uh, 20th Street got shifted uh, 30 feet further south. Um, so that's how it was built, but it left this little, this little chunk of right-of-way that was dedicated to the city. Uh, it, it remained. So uh, there is no need for the city to have it. Uh, initially, there was thought that it, be, it could become a detention basin, and we could utilize it that way. Um, that changed, and now there's a detention basin. If you've been out there, there's a detention basin on the south side of 20th Street along K49. Uh, so that made it even more uh, apparent that we don't need this 30-foot. It, I mean, it could have been done two years ago. It never did, um, so we deal with it now. Um, so it would be recommended. That you, I mean, we're getting rid of property, so you need to have a public hearing. So we need to set a public hearing. Motion to adopt resolution number 2031, establishing December 15, 2020, at 12 p.m. for a public hearing concerning vacating right away and conveying it to the adjoining property owner. Excuse me, I think that's 2032, isn't it, Ben? I yes. Excuse yeah. me. That's all right. There's no retaining walls in this, right? No. Huh. Is there a second? No. I'll second that. Motion made and second to adopt the resolution number 20-32, establishing September 15, 2020, at 12 p.m. for the public hearing 
concerning vacating right away and convey to the adjoining property owner. We have a roll call on that, Bill. Donlin. Yes. Knapp? Yep. Goodchild? Yeah. Swick? Yes. Motion carried. Do I get to vote? All right. No, sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay, moving on to the, uh, what the hell? City Administrator. His name, his name is Jason. He's presently an electronic engineer. I did so much talking, my bad. Oh, okay. You want to ask the council if they have anything? Yeah, I'll do them first. Oh, okay. Thank you, Steve. Welcome. Mike, any other further discussion? No, Mr. Mayor, I do not. Okay, Rex? When's the caution tape coming down on Cleveland Park? When the what? Caution tape. Caution tape coming down so I can do the zip line. <laughs> that is an excellent question. Um, it's like when I went down the slide at the, at the swimming pool, man. Got a lot of pages of paper. All right, okay, so. Okay, Jason's going to give an update. I'm ready now. Okay, so um, the surfacing was done on Sunday, that they wrapped that up Sunday. Uh, we will spend uh, probably the majority of this week. Um, well, let me take a step back. That that material, what they finished up Sunday, they recommended that people stay off of it for two days. So we're at two days now. So there's no issues with the playground itself as being usable. Uh, what we're going to do, though, what we need to do yet is uh, install, do some cleanup. Uh, install, reinstall some poles for both lights and uh, cameras that we're going to get installed also. Um, so that will be, there's some sidewalk we have to repair. Uh, there's a connection right at the playground where existing sidewalk interfaces with the new playground. There's a piece of sidewalk that needs to be installed there. So we're hoping that, that that's probably going to take um, most of this week. I don't think Mid-American is going to be up there until, boy, Thursday at the earliest to get uh, new polls set. Uh